Hi, I'm Jessie from Nailed NZ, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do rainbow nails. I've done these nails a couple times before and I thought they'd be really cool for my first tutorial, so hope you like it. Sorry I talk really fast and my camera isn't fantastic quality, and um, so that it pixelates a little bit sometimes, but hopefully it'll work out. Okay, so these are the nail polishes I'm using. I've already done a coat of white on my nails, just to make them stand out a bit more. Um, that's a CR colour, it's 58. Um, I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Um, not really indigo and violet, but purple and some sort of cool pink colour, so they'll be alright. Um, I'll post the actual names in the description down below, so check there for them. Alright, so I've got my white nail here, which I'm going to do. The rest of them are already done. I'm going to try to keep it in the screen this time. I'm not used to this, I've never made a video in my life. Except for ones for like assignments and that. Um, my green, I'm going to do a line right through the middle. You're going to want it in the middle, that's why I'm doing green first, because otherwise they can get uneven and yuck. And they just won't look as professional if they're not even in the middle. Mr. Candy Pants is the person who kind of gave me the idea for this. Mr. Candy Pants is in the girl, Mr. Candy Pants. She's a nail artist, she's got a Tumblr and a YouTube and a blog. And I think she's made a Facebook page too. Um, yeah, so she's really cool. She did a striped gradient like this. Like these cut all this sort of style, but um she did blues or greens or something. Yeah. Now we're gonna go on each side of the nail. So next we're gonna do either a blue or a yellow. I think I'll go for the blue. Alright. So the blue I'm gonna go straight line across here. Um, if you don't want to do straight lines because it can be kind of hard to get them actually straight, like mine aren't perfectly straight. So you could do them on, on a diagonal, like a diagonal rainbow, which would be actually really cool. I might do it sometime. Um, or else you can, I don't know, vertical instead. It might be hard to put all the colours in there. Do whatever you want, there are no rules. Um, yellow. Ah. Brush, dip, great. Can you see me? He's kind of straight line across there. Oh, that nail's a bit funny, isn't it? Um. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's for fun. If you have colourful nails, no matter how crazy they are, if, if, if you think they're imperfect, like, Oh, I think mine are imperfect all the time. They are imperfect. People still love them. You get shopkeepers who like always comment on them and just your friends and that they'll notice them. So it's cool. Yep, so there's your purple. Um, we're going alternating ways to dry it out a bit quicker because you don't want to like blur together and go yuck. Um, regarding like getting a still enough hand, it does come with practice. I started doing nail art in May, that's May 2012, and um, I've gotten like way better since I started. So, keep practicing. I paint my nails probably every second day. So the red. Yeah. Um, I got all over the cuticles. That's okay. We'll clean it up. Alright. Earbuds. These are great for cleaning up. Uh, probably all know this already, but in case you don't, there you go. Dip it in some acetone or nail polish remover in my case. Ooh, here I am. Okay. So I'm going to clean up the big bits with it. Can you see it right here? Then to get the detail stuff, you're going to want to get a little brush. I have um, a whole heap of brushes. I have a million brushes, but this is the one I've been using to clean up. It's quite old on that, but I normally use this angled brush, but it's disappeared. So this will do. It does actually a pretty good job. I'm just going to carefully in there and oh yeah, you can see 
work around the outside of the cuticle. With these, you don't want to go too close up because otherwise you might um, brush off the top layer of red or whatever around the edges and you'll have the white and it looks really awkward. So here's a final look. It's very cute and happy and I hope you guys like them. If you do, don't forget to like it and to subscribe because I have plenty more tutorials coming. Um, if you do this look, feel free to post it onto my Facebook page wall. Um, I'm under Nelda NZ. I'm pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Thanks.